G'day everyone, welcome to another Turning Tuesday. This week we've got a Bollygum Fountain Pen. This is one of the four pens set. This is showing the whole process for that specific pen. Please enjoy, like and subscribe. Thank you for joining me again. This week I will be showing you sizing the blanks on the bandsaw, trimming the blanks on the lathe, turning the pen, then finishing the pen, including sanding as well as putting the actual finish on. And then we will be moving into the polish. I'll also have a little bit of assembly towards the end. In this clip you'll see I'm measuring based off the barrel that has to go inside the blank. So I come to the actual size of that, then I bring it back a touch. Just in case I get any blowout, I would like it to sit in there nice and snug. Usually it's about a millimeter or two on one end or the other, and I try to keep it as close to one end as possible. Mounting up the sized blanks here, just so I can drill them out and get them to the right size of the barrel. I've left this in real time, but I will speed it up. You'll get the first cut in real time. If you've watched a few of my videos, can I ask if you would have a favorite portion of the videos? Please, leave that in the comment below. I'm really interested to know what you enjoy in the videos. I chose to speed through this because that squealing noise is quite horrendous. I don't enjoy it and I don't expect my viewers to enjoy it or have to deal with it. Here I'm just slowly edging it across a little bit, moving it closer and closer, taking a fraction of a millimetre off of it at a time. Just trying to get that barrel to get a beautiful snug fit. I don't quite have the right drill bit for this, so I found there's enough of play in the tailstock to get it to do what I need it to do. So I flipped it around and I'm just trying to do it from the other side now, just balancing it up. Now I'm sanding off the barrel. I found that the glue sits a little bit better in those grooves and it holds for a better longevity of the pen's life. Just enough room there that I can wiggle it. I think I'm going to give it one more pass. Nope, I was happy with that after all. Moving on to the lid of this pen. One end, give it a quick flip around and get it to touch up. Now we've got a perfect fit. Now I'm moving over with the carbide tools. I find this square scraper just about right to flatten it off and bring it right up to the edge of the barrel. As I said earlier, I try to leave it as close to the end on one end as possible. It 
always is inside the wood. And yeah. So get it in there, flip it around, trim it up as close to the barrel. This is quite honestly the most satisfying part for me. Even when I'm doing this myself, in real time, I'm standing there watching the wood just melt away. It's so relaxing. Just trimming up this glue from some of my other pens. If I don't clean it up now, it may be a little bit of proud, and you don't want that in your pen. You really want it beautiful and flush. I'll typically do my sanding at a slow to medium pace somewhere around the 1000 rpm mark and i start with 150 grit and move up to 600 so here i'm just stopping the lathe what I do is I sand left to right to go along with the grain that makes the uh, circular grain patterns disappear. So when you're sanding, it's the sandpaper has different heights, so it can leave perfect circles around because the lathe's turning. So what you want to do is you just want to go left and right and take any of those ridges out. Again, speeding up here just to get through it. Sanding is most definitely the most boring part of these pens. I find the most exciting part being when the uh, finish goes on because that colour really starts to come out. As I stop it here, you'll see those browns really starting to come out, which is absolutely stunning. Cleaning out the pores with the air compressor there. As you can see, the more you get through the grits, the less sanding it actually does. It almost takes it to a nice polish. Looks like I missed the start of this, unfortunately. As you can see, the finish is already on. So I'll go through a few layers of thin super glue. I use BSI, so Bob Smith Industries super glue. And it comes out quite beautiful. It really does accentuate any of the chatoyants in the wood. I really do enjoy it. So I do three or four layers of thin, and then I do one to two layers of medium. It leaves a relatively thin but hardy finish on after the polishing. You might notice that I'm using some accelerator just to speed up the curing process of the glue. And the black foam you might see, that's EVA. What I found is it doesn't actually stick to the super glue, so applying it with that allows me to get a lot more layers before I have to swap it out because I can just roll it over and use the back 
and turn it around, use the bottom. And yeah, so I can usually do an entire pen off one of those little squares. And now we're stepping into that micro mesh, taking out those ridges and starting to smooth it up, really bringing out the chatoyance in the wood. This is my favorite part. It's where the pen really comes to life. Cutting into a real-time clip here, this is actually how fast I'm moving. I don't leave it on there for long at all, because I really don't want to take it too far. As I said, the end result is quite thin, but it's still very hardy. It's all about just taking those high spots out and getting a perfect finish on. So we go from the blue and then we go to the pink. The pink is the final layer of the micro mesh system. And then I will stop the machine and give it a quick hand turn. Using some paper towel just to remove any additional moisture. And I Add another quick layer of moisture. As you can see, it's beading all around there, so it's actually quite smooth already. It wouldn't bead like that if it still had the ridges. With the pink, because it's so fine, you can do it for a little bit longer. So I tend to give it a little bit longer on the pink just to really help it shine. Once again, taking off that moisture and any plastic it may have left behind. Now you get a first look at the Bolly Gum in its beautiful polished finish. Next I'm going to move on to actually applying a layer of plastic polish. And I'm going to use three different styles of polish wheel just to really bring it out. Now I get to wrestle off the glue. Moving on to the assembly, pressing the uh, metal pieces into the blank. So that's why we insert the brass barrel because these pieces slide inside to complete the pen. I don't put in the ink barrel while I'm assembling the pens. I leave that because I believe it pierces. I'm yet to actually use one of my fountain pens. Um, my handwriting is not that great and I've always admired pens, but my, as I said, my handwriting's not great and I would rather leave that to the people who very much enjoy these. Every other style of pen I use daily. Any mistakes I make, they end up as my daily driver. I'm going to flick some photos up of the completed pen now. 
if there's any section of this video that you really enjoyed please let me know in the comments because i'd like to make content that you enjoy and yeah please just let me know because if i can make it more enjoyable for you i will Please like, share, and subscribe. If you believe someone wants a pen, then I am taking orders, so please don't hesitate to reach out. My email is on the channel. So, yeah, please reach out.